Hey, let's learn how to build and deploy a Meteor app using Docker. So let's start. If you check the guide.meteor.com slash deployment, you can see a few instructions here, but I'm not sure if they are 100% up to date, but you have like here somewhere, you have a Docker option. Deployment, Galax, and then you have Docker. But what I want to show you that we also have these two images here from zcloud. One is to build your app. So you have the necessary things to build your application. And we're going to, I'm going to show you very quickly how we can do it. And we also have another one here that you can also run and run with MongoDB that could be helpful for development. So let's see what I have here. So this is the file that I usually use. So the first part here, is for creating the image of your app. So this is the first part, the builder. And then the second part is to run it. So you can run your application. So we are using these two ZCloud images here together. And the nice part about this runner here is that you can run with MongoDB. So basically, here are the two commands that you need to know. You have Docker build to build the image. I'm calling the image here, meet your app. So you can build it. Okay, now our app is built. It took like 200 seconds and then you can run it. So to run, you can use this command here. Meet your applications, they need to know what's the root URL because they serve the client bundle. So your browser knows to who to request this, the client bundle in the server. So we need to know what is the server URL. And also this image is nice, this one here, that you can run an internal MongoDB. Of course, that's not recommended for production because this container is going to be replaced and the data is going to be lost if you deploy again. But that's nice to test some application or to just make sure everything is working fine. And here is the, is the image name that I choose meet your app. But instead of running here locally, now I'm going to show you how we do with zcloud to deploy meet your applications. So let's get to this tab here. I have an empty account in zcloud and it should check the pricing because our pricing is really great. So I'm going to use the GitHub. Then I'm going to get the five organization here where we have the Meteor template. Okay, so we can select how many resources we want to use, click here. Then we are going to select the app name here, Meteor template and the environment. We can also select where, I will put United States here. You can select the branch. What's really nice about the cloud and Meteor together is that we know what which version is the Meteor version that you're running. Let me go back here. If you look to here inside this folder, we are running 2.12. That's why, because here I am in the Meteor template as well. That's why we select this. For example, if I go to our old branch here, zcloud is going to analyze my code and then it will get to the correct version for this code. So let me get back to main. And also zcloud understands Meteor application. So it knows that you need to have a Mongo URL at least in most of the Meteor applications. So zcloud is going to use the internal MongoD if you don't provide one, of course you can provide one. And also it's going to put the root URL for you automatically. So that's what I'm going to do now. And of course, Meteor takes a little bit of time to, to build. So I'm going to speed up the video, but I'm going to click in deploy now. So now the image was sent to our registry. We are starting the containers now. Okay, before I go to the app itself, let me see my environment details here. So you can see that you have deployed the app successfully. We have a bunch of settings here that I can show to you. For example, here we have the branch because we are in the environment. But if I go to the app level here, we have other options. These options are really important for mature application like stick sessions. So when you connect a new client or because or we do a new deploy, 
the client keeps getting connected to the same container so it can keep the ddp information and everything that is stored in the server also blogging deployment so the user don't have any downtime so if z cloud you don't have any downtime and you can also have a custom health check here if you want to make sure your app is responding properly so you can put a rest endpoint there so it's also nice and you can use of course sl cell and you can use also the certificate that we're going to provide for you automatically using let's encrypt and let's see here yeah we have the logs here for for this environment we also have the host that you can put new domains pointing to here without any problems you have mvvirus as i show a few we add for you automatically and you also have notifications here if you want to configure specific for this environment like with slack email and so on i'm not going to change this now and let me see if it's running properly here yeah it is and as you can see you have this embedded mongodb but you can also have a production mongodb just ask our support team and you can set up for you and that's basically it so it's very simple and you have your mutual application running if you do any change it's going to trigger a new deploy and then it's going to start automatically for you usually mutual applications in the cloud they take from like two minutes to four or five minutes to build uh, before in other providers it was taking so much more and also one nice cool feature about here if you have your mutual settings and for example let's suppose you are migrating from Galax. so i put mutual settings here let me get a fake mutual settings that's not a real one so don't try this credentials because they don't go anywhere but that's a fake meter settings and pay attention that you have a galaxy configuration here so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to paste here and what happened we already get the envy virus from galaxy configuration and you will spread here for you because some clients they have a lot of envy virus inside the galaxy configuration so we did this to be easier to start using the cloud so now you can just copy your settings and we keep the setting here with what is important for the setting but not with the mvvars so we are not a meter specific hosting but as we are experts in meter as well we are doing everything possible to make the meter experience really good so that's how you can deploy apps here and again you do a change on github it's going to start a new deploy you can also increase your containers here. You can also increase your capacity of each container. And we have this very nice C change here where you can see everything that's going to be applied. Right now, I change a bunch of environs and I also change it like the containers. So everything is going to be applied for you here. So that's pretty cool that you can see and you can just apply change and everything is going to be applied together. So you don't need to be worried like, oh, is that applied? Is that not applied? So I have full control. And even if your other developer open this page, they are going to see, oh, okay, there are some changes to be applied here. So that's a feature that we're really proud of. So that's it. I hope you enjoy. So it's working really well for mutual applications. And if you have any questions, our support team is expert in mutual because we have done a bunch of mutual projects in our company in the past. So for sure, we can help you with meet your questions and of course, host related questions as well. See you soon. Bye bye.